Welcome to CG Dive. If you parent your character to a Rigify rig with automatic weights and this happens, that means that you have opened a blend file saved with Blender 3 or later in an earlier version of Blender like 2.9 or 2.8. This is 2.93 by the way. So I'll show you how to fix this. But first of all, keep in mind that Blender 3 was a big release that breaks compatibility with earlier versions. So anything that you save with the Blender 3 series shouldn't be opened in earlier versions. You can bring your 2.8 or 2.9 project to Blender 3, but not back. And that is a general rule that you should follow, but it is especially important for big releases such as Blender 3. Okay, so let's fix this mess now. I'm going to undo. So this is the state before I parented the character with automatic weights. And now the problem is in Blender's bendy bones. They were updated with new features in Blender 3. And so when you bring the character back to 2.8 or 2.9, Blender no longer knows what to do with the new settings and things get messed up. To show what happens, I'm going to display layer 29 here, which is the deformation bones, and they look okay in the octahedral state. But if I switch to bendy bones, B bones, you'll see that some of the bones are extremely thin. The head and the shoulders are kind of fine, but the arms, spine and legs are thin. Okay, that's because the head and the collar bones don't actually use bendy bones, whereas all of the other bones do. So let's select this bone, for example, and go to bone tab, bendy bones and in there you'll see the scale in and scale out settings here they are set to one which means they're fine but if i go to edit mode you'll see that all of them are set to zero so if i set all of these values to one you'll see that my bone reset its uh, volume and so this part of the rig will be fixed okay so now i'm going to show you how to quickly fix the whole rig if you don't have your meta rig, then keep working here in the uh, deformation bones. But if you do have your meta rig, I would recommend that you fix your actual meta rig and that will fix the generated rig as well. So I'll go to object mode, select my meta rig. Here it is, and I'm going to press slash to isolate it. Go to pose mode, select any of the bones, and then press A to select all of the other bones. I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a second. Now, if we look at the scale in and out settings for this bone, you'll see that they are uh, set to zero even in pose mode. So the first thing I'll do is set all of these values to one. Uh, don't worry that the values are grayed out, by the way. That is fine. You can still change the values. And now I changed the values only for this uh, active bone. All other bones are still set to zero, zero, zero. So to copy these values to all other bones, I'll again select this bone to make it active and then press A to select all other bones. And now I can right click and choose copy to select it. And I'll have to do this four times for each of the in and out values. Okay, now if I, now if I look at the other bones, all values are set to one. And I'll have to do the exact same thing in edit mode as well. That is very important. You have to do it in both modes because there are different scale values for each mode. So let's go to edit mode and you'll see that again, the values for this active bone are 0, 0, 0. So let's press A again to select all other bones, set all values to one. And again, copy each of the values to the selected bones. Okay, I'll go out of local mode, go to object mode, go to the armature tab and generate my rig again. Now I'm going to parent with automatic weights and my parenting will work correctly. So for the sake of completeness, let's say that you don't have your meta rig. I'm going to delete mine here and you get this problem, um, then again, you have to go to the deformation layers, layer 29, go to pose mode, and actually in pose mode, I guess the generation process fixes part of this problem. So you won't have a problem in pose mode, but if you go to edit mode, you'll see that all of these values are set to zero, zero, zero. So I'm going to make one bone active 
press A to select all of the other deformation bones, then set all of these values to 1, and then copy to select it. And now if I go to pause mode, you'll see that the character looks normal. If I enable my controls and try moving the rig around, you'll see that it works perfectly. But I would definitely recommend that you fix your meta rig rather than your generated rig if possible. Okay, now I'm actually in Blender 3 and I just want to show you that this problem can also happen in Blender 3. The way this happens is that you save your file in Blender 3, then you bring it back to Blender 2.93 for example, and save it again, and then you open it again in Blender 3. These incorrect values that you saved in Blender 2.93 will now be brought into Blender 3.0. Okay, here is my meta rig. If I go to pause mode and check my bendy bones, you'll see that Blender 3 now has three scale values, X, Y, and Z. Whereas if I go back to Blender 2.93, it has only X and Y. Blender 3 and later has X, Y, and Z. These are new bendy bones settings, and this is where the problem originates. But the way you fix this is exactly the same. I'm going to make one of the bones active, select all of the other bones with A, and then I'm going to set all of these values to 1. And if I right click, Blender 3 actually has a, a new right click setting. I can now copy all to select it. Instead of copying just one value at a time, it will copy all of the three grouped values at once. And I also have to do this for the scale out values. Copy all to select it. And then again, go to edit mode, set all to one, and copy all to select it. Now, if I generate this rig and parent it with automatic weights, it's going to be all gravy. I hope this helps. I saw this issue reported all over the place. So now you should know why it happens and how to fix it. And again, this was easy to fix for Rigify, but there may be cases, especially for very complex rigs, where it won't be easy to fix your rig. So again, the most important lesson here is to not open your Blender 3 files in earlier versions of Blender. If this helped you, please consider becoming a CG Dive member on Gumroad or Patreon. Big thanks to my supporters. Please click like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.